Now, speaking of the economy, companies in Israel and all over the world have been forced to get pretty creative during the ongoing pandemic, with the alternative for many being bankruptcy or worse. So how are business leaders evolving and adapting? Here to discuss is ILTV contributor and consumer behavior expert, Dr. Billy Abraham. Thank you so much for being there. It's a pleasure. All right. So, you know, first of all, let's start off with, with some data. You know, what is the unemployment rate currently? Well, if we look at what happened a month ago, there were 740,000 Israelis unemployed. So we're talking about 18.2% unemployment rate. And 14th of October, uh, 20, over 20% 20 unemployed. So we're talking about 947,000 Israelis out of work. And just before the lockdown, we had 910. So it means that as a result of the lockdown, 40 more thousand Israelis found themselves without work. Well, and that's just what we know of as well. Those yeah. are just the registered yeah. uh, unemployed. So you know, what are some of the workarounds that maybe some companies have started employing to get around these lockdown measures? All right, well, they, you know, for example, if uh, uh, you're a grocery store and you may have also a coffee machine and you sell coffee, although it's not legal, you're not allowed to sell coffee. Of course. Uh, yeah, so, uh, for example, a lot of uh, supermarkets uh, started selling toys because you cannot go to, you know, a toy store and buy toys for your kids, so they, they're offering toys. So there are all sorts of things going on uh, in order to get around uh, so, the but that's but that's a but that's a company that's so-called essential. It's a food you know provider, uh, and so they're already allowed to open, and they're maybe just expanding on their on their business uh, as much as they can. But what about some of the companies that are not essential? All right. Well, there's a, there's some interesting stories. For example, uh, a store in Cholon, which actually sells clothing. What the business owner did is just put a few uh, you know cartons of fruits and vegetables at the entrance to uh, the shop, and then it became legal because you're selling. Just like that. It just, it's, it's incredible. I mean, these things that people were doing. Look, I, I mean, business owners are really, really, really desperate, and you can see this across the whole country and in different industries, okay, from people who are selling clothing or food and to the hospitality uh, industry as well. Well, I was going to say, I mean, you know, I, I for example, just bought a, a, you know, a portable hard drive out of a store that was selling, he had blocked off the entrance to the store and he would just have the customers come up to the door and say, I want that, you know, how much is it? And he, and he did the whole interaction within the store and then just brought it to me outside. So the question is, you know, where does he stand legally? Is he, is he liable to get in trouble or is that sort of a gray area? Well, if we're talking about computers and telecommunications, I think that's legal, that's perfectly legal. This is the office supply store. Office supplies, well, uh, I know that there, there is a, a large uh, office supply chain in Israel which is allowed to operate and right. it's completely legal. Uh, but if you look at places that sell computers or fixed telephones, that's perfectly fine. However, you do find places that sell food, they're supposed to deliver it. But if you come up, you know, to the store or to the shop and you say, I want, you know, something, sushi, they'll give it to you. Yeah, they're probably um, right, and right. it just seems that there are not enough inspectors around to give the fines and to enforce the lockdown rules. Wow, that's amazing. All right, well, so so what companies are really out of luck then, you know, that are really so far removed from any of these workaround or loopholes? All right, so we're, we're talking about uh, all uh, companies or, or business owners that are not in the essential products uh, business. So we're talking about owners of, you know, uh, a wedding hall, bars, etc. These people have no way uh, to open their, their shops or to open their businesses to the general public. But if you're selling something like clothing and you put something in front of your store that is that essential, is essential right. then you get around it. Well, maybe um, the bars and clubs, et cetera, can, can There are even cases of, 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 of companies delivering uh, to their customers that are waiting outside by some bench. Uh, <laughs> and you know, if you look at bakeries, for example, you're allowed to sell uh, food that is prepared in advance, but you're not allowed to sell coffee. But of course, if somebody comes in, you offer him coffee. So it's really just a matter of finding those little tiny loopholes, loopholes. And, and kind of grabbing on of them. All right, Dr. Abraham, thank you so much for being with us today. It was a pleasure.